Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. You're with Amira Salon from amirasalon.com. This is your monthly reading for who is your future love partner by Element. I've got the three different sign readings in four different videos. So each are grouped together with the Element, Fire, Air, Earth and Water. I do suggest that you look at your moon sign, sun sign, rising sign and Venus sign. Some of you like to look at as well. I'm going to be using my Amira's Love Oracle cards, which were channeled from Spirit. They are available for purchase on my website, amirasalon.com. All the links are here below. And I'm also using the Albano Weight Tarot deck. I'm still looking for Spanish and English speaking um, astrologers for my channel, for my international psychic team. I'm also open to looking at Italian, French and Portuguese as well. So I'm looking mainly for astrologers in Spanish and English. If you do have two languages or one language, please contact me through my contact page on my website. Also, thank you for subscribing, thumbs upping and sharing the videos. I truly appreciate it. And to connect with the channel, make sure that you do ring that or click that bell button, which will give you the notifications for the channel. If you'd like to book a personal session with me, I have opened up times on my calendar. So they are for phone readings or Skype phone readings. And you can go to my calendar and book it straight there. You have to book and pay and the session is complete and scheduled. Otherwise, you can book a one question reading or a coffee cup reading with me and you will get your um, information. I'll give you and I'll send everything to you via a link. Or if you want an in-between reading or a quick, quick question, you can also connect with me on the Instago app, which is also just in below here in the information section. Anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous time so far this month. I hope you've really enjo enjoying yourselves, had a beautiful Valentine's and coming off the lunar eclipse or the partial lunar eclipse and in and just seeing what's going to happen i feel like a lot of stuff is shifting and moving forward i have had a lot of beautiful and great things start to happen when things have been very flat for the past few months so i hope the same is happening for you and i hope things are shifting and moving i think sometimes the planets just help us you know get the energy flowing and moving so i'm going to start with aries and and off we go Hi Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cancer, who is your future love partner for March 2018? Okay. Okay, Cancer. Right. Okay, this person that's coming in could have suffered from something recently or before you met them. They could have gone through a big change, a divorce, a breakup. There could have been somebody die around them in their, in their family. They might have lost something. They're definitely looking for romance. They're looking for happiness. They're looking back on childhood memories. There's been a lot of upheaval around them. They could, ha they could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, male or female but they've had some sort of setbacks. But I feel like despite the setbacks, they've, um, it's made them a stronger person. Okay, could also be somebody from a different country that you meet while traveling or um, who has immigrated into your area or moved into your area recently. I'm picking up New York around this person, so I don't know what they're fascination is with New York or they have maybe come from New York or gone to New York. Uh, this person could also be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. There's some big celebration around them regarding a move, uh, uh, moving forward. Uh, I feel like they've probably gotten some sort of job or promotion that they're celebrating. And maybe it's involving a move as well. Maybe this is why you haven't met them because they're moving into your area or they're moving somewhere. 
they're going to things are going to take off very very quickly once you meet the person very very quickly I feel the person is quite spiritual and they might pray a lot and they might make dedications a lot too so they could have some sort of ritual where they make a lot of dedications to spirit or do some sort of um, spirit spiritual practice and have an altar is what I'm picking up around them as well they've had people around them that have not been well or, or depressed maybe mental issues mental health issues but they're starting a new journey and I feel like they could you could very well meet them traveling or they are traveling so they could be scoping out something in your area young male can be somebody up to the age of 29 or somebody significantly younger than you somebody who is um, male or female somebody who's involved in sports I'm also picking up martial arts as well so martial arts can also be you know different types of martial arts from the lighter version to the more intense version taekwondo comes to mind tai chi as well um, Qig, is it qigong qigong too comes to mind so there's great communication feel that they're going to reach out to you they work in a professional capacity or they have somebody around them that is managing them or working with them in a professional capacity so if they're an artist so the young female is often an artist somebody who's in fashion and music male or female so if they're an artist they could have a manager around them or you could be the young female and you uh, or the courting man as well somebody who does want to take you out and take you on traditional dates okay cancer so there's a traditional dating flow pattern happening here meeting somebody through interacting connecting um, mixing and mingling can be also through friends associates acquaintances groups and also spiritual things as well so there could be some spiritual or martial arts component to this person so it could be something that you're interested in doing or that you've done person could have dark hair not necessarily dark eyes but could be brunette male or female dark brown to black hair if they have already been married they might have gotten divorced there could have been some problem with one of their children whether this child had some sort of issue disability um, or they'd like to have children but they feel like it's maybe not the right time cancer what do we need to know I'm picking up a W sound like a Wendy William um, Warren Wes Wesley okay fair male somebody who's lightish for their cultural background so you've got a couple of different options here this could be these could be either of you as well so if you're the fair male or the brunette female you know can go either way so if you're the fair male and somebody who's lightish for their cultural background you might be attracted to somebody who's brunette or vice versa somebody who's a little bit different from you a differentiation somebody a little bit contrasted okay looking around for relationship but looking for a special person somebody who is looking for a relationship but looking for a true gem some and also looking for a possible engagement looking for a special person they're looking out and we've got the blonde female as well okay so there could be quite a few people around this person they could be acquaintances they could be friends they could be you know associates that they're with it all the time or working with on some sort of project they feel like somehow karma has stopped them from meeting the right person and this karma is now opening up they might have felt also they've had some karma to do with money and finances but they have sort of a lucky streak coming up and I feel the lucky streak is 
when they're most likely to come in. I also feel this person has been very busy. So, and that's why they've been unavailable. They've just been very, very busy. So they've been working on something, they've been traveling a lot, they've been doing things in and around a, um, a project. They've been sorting out the past, whatever that is. And they've kind of been somehow trying to release something, get rid of the dead wood, release something to be ready for something new and to be ready for a true gem, to be ready for a good relationship. I feel like this person has done a lot of work on themselves, whether they meditate or do the qigong or do some sort of like active meditation, mindfulness, practice mindfulness. They could even be some sort of guru or a professional that teaches some, something to do with the martial arts or spiritual practices. So that's an interesting one for you, Cancer. I wish you all the very best with that. Um, let me know how it goes. Okay, so let's have a look at the next sign. Scorpio. Scorpio sun, moon and rising. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. This person might have had money problems. They might have had issues around finances or having support having had to support other people. So it could have been that they were in a marriage or supporting their, you know, parents or, you know, they had some sort of issue. They had finances tied up with their parents, is that's what I feel. They could have been in business with family members too or had money issues in their family of origin. So they could have come from poor background and... They could be very, very ambitious and trying to make it big. They might have a very strong father and mother, very strong. Their parents might be divorced or um, maybe not, but they could have a very strong parents who are very pushy and determined is what I'm getting here. They feel like they have left something behind that was that they're thinking about quite a lot yeah and I feel it's more of a situation around the their family than anything else they might have also lost a parent too because we've got death here too yeah okay yeah so they could have lost a parent but they've got big wishes I feel like they're they're manifestors and they've got big wishes that are coming to pass. They could, Scorpio, be a um, Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. They could also be very generous as well. They might want to have children to feel safe and secure, to be working on a relationship, to be... Um, Getting somebody pregnant, that could be you, or you might be the um, male getting somebody else pregnant. Happy family homes. So they're looking to have happy family homes. They could be a Virgo, and they could be very deep in the way that they're thinking about things. They're going to see you as a star, the star of their life. I really feel that they're looking for a very deep relationship, a very one-on-one -on -one transformational relationship. But they also want to transform their life too. <coughs> Excuse me. They've been through a lot. Um, they've been through quite a lot. I feel like they've lost somebody. Could, could be a grandparent that were very close to a parent they were close to. Okay, and things are shifting and turning around, Scorpio. So you've got, um, you know, they're coming in with a lot of great energy. They're coming in with a cup of life. They're coming in with a lot of emotion. They're coming in with a lot of um, a romantic, romantic offers, feelings of romance and surprise. They could have an element of surprise about them. They might have... Um, Things about them that you don't know about that you have to dig deep for. 
okay? They could keep some sort of secrets. They might not be completely transparent, but I don't feel that they're deceitful. I feel like there's stuff in their past that might be a bit sketchy, but I don't feel it was anything to do with them. I feel like it's more likely their family members. Okay, they are free. They don't have anybody around them right now. They're free. They're ready to go forward in a relationship. They're looking for a spiritual partner. Um, that They might have choices and decisions to make about children. So whether they want to have children, whether they feel ready to have children, whether they want to move forward with that or not, that could be an, uh, something that comes up for them. They could also be choosing between two different people or two different directions in life. They could have a crowded relationship around them as in an influence from family members or some sort of other external influence. They will be coming together for dating and relationship. That's very, very positive. They want to have a honeymoon. They want to go away somewhere nice. They have been, um, they are mature for their age, not necessarily mature in age. I feel that they are professional. They wear, you know, a professional business attire to work or they work in a professional capacity. There's very good communication with them when they do come in. They're going to spoil you with gifts. There's a lot of uh, spoiling here. There's a lot of attention, you know. They might have just come out of something very, very short term. So that could be the, the triangle. So the X might still be floating around them, okay? They could have just, and not even a real X. I feel like it's more um, somebody who was really interested in them, but they weren't really interested in that person. But somebody who's been clinging on to them for dear life is what I'm picking up here. I'm also picking up a K sounding name, like a Corin, Karina, um, Karen, Carl, K, first or second name, Kevin, for example, that will relate to some of you. What else are we getting, Scorpio? What else do we need to know? Okay, it's saying to be very discerning. Okay, so this person is also very discerning. They're very choosy. They're very particular. They know what they want. They know what they don't want. They don't want the past love. They're kind of over that. They want things to shift forward. They're ready for something new. The past love has nothing to do with them not being ready. They're definitely free. They've freed themselves up from something. They have had options and choices. They've had opportunities in their life. This person doesn't go without getting attention. There's definitely options and opportunities around them. But it doesn't matter because they're only looking for a specific type of person to be in a relationship with. Okay, Scorpio, so don't worry about any sort of competition. Don't worry about any sort of external parties. I feel like they know how they're going to proceed even before you even meet them. There's, I mean, they've got the wish card. They've got, you know, they want to manifest something special. The Ace of Cups is fantastic, really, really nice. So they're really full of love, you know. This person is full of love, full of readiness and full of love. There's like a ripeness here with the Empress, ready, ready to have, you know, everything that you could think of in a relationship. Very romantic, very sensual as well. Very loving. So that's a nice one, Scorpio. All the very best with that. Let me know what happens. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Pisces, who was your future love partner for March 2018? Pisces. Oh, the lovers, Pisces relationship, meditating on it, finding somebody. You could find somebody at a spiritual center. This person might be quite spiritual, okay? They're looking for a partnership. They're looking for a lover. They're looking for a balanced relationship. They could also be a Libra. 
Okay, they might come from money, family money. They might have just received an inheritance or have a strong family around them, a wealthy family. They might go to church, synagogue, mass, temple, anything like that. They could pray a lot and do rituals. Okay, or they might have been around a religious family or I'm picking up the word secular. They could even come from a secular religious family, whatever that means to you. So a specific sect or secular part of a religion. They feel like their fortune is moving forward and changing. They feel like they're starting to move forward and things are happening. You could even meet them in a church or some sort of spiritual center, a synagogue, a temple, or even an ashram. Okay, for those Pisces going to India to an ashram, you might meet somebody there. Okay, could be another uh, fellow water sign, whether it's male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They are wanting a relationship, they're wanting a, a marriage. Okay. I don't know what I'm getting here through this. I'm getting the clock sticking. They feel like they're under time pressure. They could even be under pressure from their parents to get married. Okay, so they could be under some sort of time pressure or they might have themselves under some sort of time pressure. They're very hardworking, conscientious. They're looking at their finances. They're quite good with money. They feel that the time is now. They feel like they've been ready for quite some time for a relationship. They could work for themselves. They could be a craftsperson, an artist, somebody who is, you know, seen for their talents with what they create. That can also be anything also online too. But I feel like they could have an artistic streak. Pisces, what do we need to know for this love partner? Okay. They may have felt deceived by people in the past. They could have a difficult mother as well. They might have had a situation where they've been blocked by a female in their life, probably a mother. So they've had karma to work through with that. You know, they're ready for a new adventure. They're ready to take things out. Wow, they've got the wish card and the ace of cups. So, you know, moving forward, taking back their power. You know, they might come in around July, you know, if not before. They could be a cancer. Um, they have a lot of love to give. They're very, very loving, very, very open. They have an open heart. They have the cup of life. They're giving you you know, offers of love and they want to have a beautiful life with you. They're really manifesting the best, the best of the best. They're feeling like their wishes are come true. They feel like they want to have their wishes come true. Pisces. I feel this person will find you somehow, some way. You know, it's important to also go out and... and you know, do your life and explore and be open. And I feel like if you're, when you're open, the cup is going to come in. So the cup is overflowing with abundance and happiness and love and success. So lots of love and angel blessings, Pisces. Let me know what happens. All the very best with everything. Take care. Ciao for now.